Hello, my ghouls, goblins, and witches, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara, aka Miss Lucy Morningstar. Thank you guys for joining me. And being in the bathroom can only mean one thing. It's a hair update time. Okay, welcome back. So, we're in the bathroom. Yay. Um, just kidding. I have had one of these. If you've never tried one of these, these are like fucking liquid crack. Uh, not really. But yesterday I had the, I bought a flat, flat of these. I don't know. It was like 36 of them um, from Costco because they were out of Monster. This like no tingles, no crash, no nothing. It's just like liquid energy, I should say. So I've been drinking this. And I have been go, go, going today. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara, AKA Miss Lucy Morningstar, like I said. So if you are new here, thank you for joining me. If you are old, thank you for returning. I appreciate you all. This is going to be my hair update. We are on almost 11 months. Tomorrow I will have 11 months of growing out my shaved head. And here we are. So as many of you guys know, I trimmed my hair off at, I want to say 10, no, nine months, eight months, something like that. If I, you go back, you'll see. Um, I chopped my hair off, bleached it, and now we're pink. So I kind of want to talk about a little bit of things before I get into why I am pink. So, um, first off, I have not done anything to my hair. I washed it last night. Well, I dyed it. I put the new color on and let it, I put a little bit of heat on it, let it dry. And this is where we are at. Still, I hate this like blunt, you know, it just doesn't look good. But I'm trying to just let it grow because I want my bangs to be as long as my hair. You know, I just want my long bangs. I want my long hair back. It's not happening as fast as I would like. Um, and I've realized that this side of my hair is not as thick as this side. Yes, I have kind of like an off-centered part because when I part down the middle, I look like Dwight Schrute, or that's all I see anyways. Um, but this is what it looks like. As you can tell, there is definitely like a shelf happening. And this is just my... The way that it is growing is just the way it's growing. I have not cut any any layers in my hair. I've not cut nothing. It is just this is just what's happening, and I really am not loving, you know, this look. But it is what it is. A lot of times I can get away with like pulling my bangs out of my face, um, doing kind of something different. I don't know. You know, kind of just is what it is. But this is where we're at. I'll do my little spin for you guys so that you can see all of it. This is the front, obviously, this side, the back, and this side. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, but anyways, what I was saying is I noticed this side is shorter than this side, as you can tell. And this side is just thicker at the bottom. We, I don't know why. So this side seems to have a little bit more layers, like up right in here. And this side doesn't. And I, I don't know what is happening with my hair. So just, just, just ignore that. Anyways, I haven't changed anything. I'm still using the same shampoo and conditioner. I'm still using the same hair mask. I have not put any castor oil in my hair. I have not done anything to my hair besides bleach and bleach my roots a couple weeks ago and then put a color on it. Um, so, I'm pink. I tried out a vegan cruelty-free hair dye from Walmart. Um, it was the Bright brand. Um, this All I have left is their hair mask. It is a bond building um, repair mask for your hair. You used it once, there's like, there's still a lot left in here. Um, and this works, this comes with the bleach kit. Uh, I love the packaging. I think it's really cute. I think every, whatever color besides the bleach and the mask, 
but whatever color you're using, the container for that is the color, which I think is cute. So I used the rose. I dyed it rose about, I want to say like right after I did my last video, I touched up my roots and dyed my hair rose. It took about a tube and a half of the, 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 the container, the tubes, um, which they're not very big. I don't have, so I have a lot of hair. I just, it's very fine and thin. Um, if you grab my hair, it is, there's a lot in there. It's just fine and thin. So I, I ran through the, the one tube really pretty quickly. Um, I'm glad that I had bought two tubes. Um, and it only lasted like a week in my hair after bleaching. It does say it lasts between five and 30 washes. And I had washed my hair twice in that week. So my hair was, you know, pretty blonde by the end of the week after washing it twice. Um, and uh, yeah, it wasn't, I, it wasn't pink enough for me. Once it kind of faded out and like my roots were kind of not orange, but they weren't, it was like a peach. It was a peach. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see I've done stories. Um, and so I think it's like my witchy meet and greet photos where I'm on Instagram. You can see kind of what color my hair is. That video was like filmed like right after I did my last hair update video. Um, so didn't last very long. And then about a week ago, maybe, I want to say a week, it could be two weeks ago, I used the last half of the rose color from Bright and um, then mixed some pastel pink with it. And so it got a little pinker, stayed in a little bit longer this, t this last time. Um, but then it started to fade after two washes. And so I was like, you know what? I don't know if it's my hair. I don't know what's happening. So let's just, I have a pink, which then I use this one. Um, it is the Ion Brights in the color Flamingo. It says it's got luminous shine and no peroxide. You just use the tube. And I ran out. I did not have, a, I barely had enough. So if you look closely, you can kind of see missing spots that look more peachy and stuff that is left over from the Bright brand. Um, I did this last night. So this is like freshly colored pink on my hair. Um, I like pink hair. I think it's very cute. I like it. If I feel it makes me feel a little younger than I am. I am almost 36. So it makes me feel youthful and fun. Um, am I going to keep pink in my hair? Probably not forever. No, I am just doing the fun semi-permanent hair colors while I'm growing out my hair, eventually my goal is to go ginger and stay ginger for as long as I can. Um, I love having red hair. I tell my, I tell my husband all the time I should have been born a redhead. Um, but I haven't had red hair in a long time because I went through those, I'm going to dye my hair phase and then I shaved my head and then here we are now. Um, I wanted to have fun with color before I go red. So, um, I'm going to try some other colors before I go red, like I said, uh, and just have fun with it while it's growing out, um, where I am not re-bleaching any of the ends. All I bleach is my roots when I do my roots, and I'm not doing my roots anytime soon. So yeah, trying to keep it healthy, trying to just let it grow and do its thing. Um, that's about it. I haven't really changed anything. I have hair vitamins. They're just hair, skin, and nails vitamins from like Walmart. Um, but I haven't really been using them and I really kind of want to slash I should need to. Um, I need to be better with my vitamins. I need to be better with my protein intake. I need to be better with a lot of things. And I haven't really been. I've been in a funk and yeah. Um, I know that I haven't something just like fell on my head it was weird anyways <laughs> or something touched the side of my head could have been a ghost um the veil is thinning 
I haven't been good at posting videos because I haven't been really feeling like myself lately and I just kind of wanted to talk about that. I know this video is getting long and you probably like shut the fuck up but I just wanted to say like I haven't been feeling myself for a very long time and I just I don't know what type of content to put out to be 100% honest. I keep on telling you I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that and then I will be like, yes, let's do these and film these videos. And then I'll get to where I'm like, I don't really want to film anything. And I don't feel like myself and I don't look pretty. And I don't, you know, all that. So that negative has just been kind of sitting in my head and festering for a little bit. Um, and so I just, yeah, I want to apologize for not being the best YouTuber. I know a lot of people keep on asking me for more videos. And you guys want to see not just witch related things you want to see beauty related things and i just haven't been the best youtuber i started this youtube channel to document my witchcraft and then slowly it turned into my hair updates and here we are um i still don't know what type of content i want to put out but i do want to start making more um i do like beauty i love beauty stuff i just haven't been since the pandemic i haven't really been myself and i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to be better at it i'm gonna try to get better at doing witchy videos beauty videos and just enjoying my time on youtube while i can so i promise there'll be more videos i hope that you'll have a great day and blessed be my witches